I'm the chairman of NOSLAM, or the North Otago Sustainable Land Management Group. We got that group going about six years ago and we were involved in the Kakanui Community Catchment Project which was looking at biodiversity on the Kakanui River. My role really is uh, to bring all the stakeholders together so we can have uh, Ravensdown, Balance, um, Beef and Lamb, Dairy NZ all, all at a field day, um, keeping them all involved and by doing that the collaboration that we're getting is, uh, is proving invaluable. One of our strategies with NOSLAM is connectivity and that's about engaging with other stakeholders like Iwi, Fish and Game and Otago Regional Council. Uh, we've got a committee of nine members and there's members from those groups on that committee and so they were hearing what farmers' challenges and successes were and we also had an opportunity to listen to their concerns as well and it also makes them very aware that there's people out there um, in the farming world that do care and are uh, starting to ad address environmental issues. My blocks have about four kilometres of uh, creek boundary. Uh, my neighbour is a dairy farmer so we share a lot of information. We're often talking about our issues on the creek and how we might look at it because uh, he has similar issues even though he's completely different farming. That's why we've got pod groups so that we can tailor management challenges that farmers have for those areas. Um, the pods are uh, formed by the topographical catchment um, layout if you like, so we've got the, the Kakanui Valley which forms one master pod and within that we've got the upper Kakanui, lower Kakanui and then the estuary area. The idea of the sub pods is to work with smaller numbers so that they can be, farmers can be more targeted at uh, the area that they're working in. So often uh, I get uh, some questions asked from farmers, what should I be doing in order to meet the Otago Regional Council's uh, limits on um, water quality. The key thing that I tell farmers is just start doing something and whether it's planting a flooded area in some grass so it doesn't strip the soil off when it floods, uh, that doesn't cost a lot. It changes your farming practice a little bit on that area but it might make a huge difference in terms of tonnes of soil shifting into a waterway. Uh, so the key thing is to make a start. It's important that the urban and rural communities understand how each is contributing to whatever's happening. Um, and that's starting to happen now uh, with, with community projects and, and the like. So it just builds that whole community, it develops trust amongst the community and um, be, well, be proud of where we live and what we do and bring all that together as one. And it's a, it's a big ask, uh, but unless we start, we're not gonna get there.